Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Yogesh Kumar from kumarlab.com. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your normal router as a Wi-Fi repeater. This technique is going to be very useful for large house, office, uh, warehouse and other wide places where the existing Wi-Fi signal is very weak. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to use uh, this TP-Link WR740 and Mbps router. First of all, let's understand the concept of WDS bridging process, how this works. WDS bridging is the process of connecting two routers and getting access to the internet in the second router without connecting to the internet cables so that we can extend the Wi-Fi signals to the blind corners. So let's see how we can do with this TP-Link WR740 and 150 Mbps router. Let's do it. Okay guys, uh, you can see here I have connected to Wi-Fi YoYo um, but it is not getting access to internet so I'll try to get this Wi-Fi router with internet access without connecting to the wireless cables. Okay, first of all open the browser type 192.168.0.1 here uh, type admin and admin as a default password and username click sign in and then go to wireless and wireless setting here you can see enable WDS bridging option is available just click this you can see here uh, two space are available SSID to be bridged and this ID to be bridged are blank so for that click survey after clicking you can see here all the available Wi-Fi signals are seen here you can see here 12 Wi-Fi signals are available okay I want to connect my test Wi-Fi to my YoYo Wi-Fi so just click connect you can see here SSID test Wi-Fi and SSID is seen here okay after that go to key type select your key type and enter the password and then click save okay the change of wireless configuration will not take effect until the device reports okay that's why I just click here and click reboot after restarting you will start it getting the internet access in your Wi-Fi without connecting to the internet cable Okay, let's connect. Let's see what will happen. Okay, guys, you can see here I am successfully able to browse my internet without connecting to the internet cable and you can see here internet is working fine okay that's it okay that's it for today guys hope you'll find this video helpful if you have any other routers and you want to know the process how to do the bridging process on that router uh, you can leave the comment below in the comment section i'll try to make the video on that topic Okay, then see you in the next video. Bye-bye.